What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John with the Game Video here. Welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Moon Gen Log. I had to think about that for a second. I don't know why. But welcome in. How is everyone doing tonight? We are recording and we're just having some good times. Let's do a quick team recap, real quick. As we have Daddy the Machamp, level 37, gained a level um, upon training. So I, because basically I got into a battle to hopefully fix the screens because. They've been bugging me because they've been off just ever so slightly. So I got into a battle so I could do that. But then I realized I couldn't go into the wild encounters because the wild encounter would be a uh, encounter. So I can't get that unless I wanted to forfeit the encounter. So instead, I fought the trainer who had a ninjask, which Papa blew it up with Dizzy Punch. So Daddy the Machamp gained a level, got Sacred Sword, a Brick Break. Liquidation and Cotton Guard. Then we got Sandy, the uh, weak armor uh, Gramble with Liquidation, Headbutt, Moonblast, and Dragon Claw. We got Papa with Refrigerate, because, you know, Dizzy Punch with the Refrigerate is just that much better. Um, with Play Rough, X's are Liquidation, and uh, Dizzy Punch. We got Nick with the Beast Boost ability with Photon Geyser, Moon Geist Beam, Earth Power, and Volt Switch. We have Theta with Ice Body, Dazzling Gleam, Discharge, Waterfall, and Hyper Fang. And we got Drake with Sparkling Aria, Psychic, Dragon Dance, and Yawn. Of course, Dragon Dance is really pointless. I don't know why. <coughs> I got. I think it was Mean Luck that I replaced it after anyway. So it didn't necessarily matter. Now, I want to make sure we have potions because we will be taking on a totem today. Um, and we all know that totems have the ability to be scary. Um, that would not be where they are, apparently. Hyper Potions. We got 12 of them. Okay, we should be okay. Because we're taking on a totem today. It's... It's nerve-wracking, to say the least, to have a totem battle. Because I want to be like, okay, let's smash it. We can do well. Everything is going to work out to our advantage. And then you actually look at it, and you're like, hmm. Is it really going to work out to our advantage? Because if this totem is difficult because it could be it has the potential to be um then we have issues also i am seeing encoding overload so i gotta pay attention to that because we do not want to be like choppy throughout the episode so i'll be paying attention to that encoding overload and if i have to redo this episode i will redo this episode i don't even care if i have to redo this episode um because i am a big stickler when it comes to video quality <laughs> like i want to make sure i create the best content for you guys we are upcoming on 1k subscribers so if you guys are new and you want to join the gamma squad and be the first part of the first 1k subscribers please 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 hit that subscription and hit the bell while you're at it so you can get your daily uploads um yeah it's kind of crazy um Again, there's a lot of his lane parts of this hoo-hoo video. I'm going to probably make an update video about what I want my schedule to look like. Um, and um, the biggest thing is I am going to... I kind of want to have a full-time collab. And if you guys don't know what that means, it means it's a collab that's four episodes a week. Um, which is difficult for most people right most people can't sustain a collaborative project like that and i've learned that over the years um and what i mean like i know i can right i mean i've i sustain uploads every day it's nothing new nothing abnormal for me so but i definitely it's time to figure out something i want to get a soul link going obviously i would love it to be with ryan but let's be fair that's not gonna happen um but I definitely want to get a soul like with somebody. I don't have an idea. That's the problem. I don't know. The, the problem is I don't have an idea of who. And I also don't know who would be willing to take on a four episode a week journey and venture. Because um, would it change the upload schedule of things? Yes. But I, I want, like, I would, I would hope to get Tuesdays and Fridays for my upload dates. Uh, Monday and Thursday would work two after uh, versus with beers. So, but I want a part-time collab 
which is perfect. I got that with Aaron. Aaron is an amazing person and helps out and um, we hang out all the time and we have a good, I feel like we have good uh, video chemistry when it comes to making videos and stuff, especially now, like there's a huge difference and you can tell. Um, so the biggest thing that I think that needs to work or that we need to work on, I think personally, um, for us or just for like everything and for me is I need a full time thing because right now I've got verses on Thursday I've got four days a week five days I've got five days a week where I'd be posting this series which gives you guys burnout on a series and that's not what I want right I'm not the whole solo series isn't supposed to f it's it's there to fill the voids and the gaps but there's not supposed to be that many voids and that many gaps if you know what I mean so I definitely want especially because the next series I want to do is three videos of 15 minutes long each week um, and if I can spread them out as much as possible it's the best case scenario um, so it's something I've definitely been thinking about and trying to figure out scheduling of things. I ha I want to start, I want to do one day a week of Pogo content because Pogo is popping off on my channel at the moment and I want to take advantage of that in a way. So that is definitely on the radar of potentials um, is Pogo. Um, it's definitely weird to be like, okay, well, Let's figure out what we're going to do for Pogo content. And I'm trying to figure out how I want to record Pogo content. Because I have an idea of a video that I want to make. The issue is, is the Pokemon that I'm trying to spotlight is nowhere near me. And it's like, uh, well, why are you trying to spotlight a Pokemon that's not near you? And like, it's like, yes, okay, I get that. And it definitely makes that, it makes the content harder to provide. Um... Especially because Pogo is so diverse now. Um, that I do think that... It'd be hard coming up with video topics every day, but I would do it. I would definitely find a way to do it. Because I, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Um, and you guys clearly want it. So why not deliver it, right? Like, I find something that you guys want. There's no reason not to deliver upon it. And there's an encoding overload error. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Um, so yeah, there's no reason not to deliver upon something if you guys are clearly showing that you want it. Um, this is going to be hopefully be a very easily... Oh, well, I messed up. This should be a pretty easy trial, um, hopefully. And this takes up most of an episode. So it should be... And like I said, it should not be hard. Um, because yeah, this because there's a lot of cuts. This is a cut scene trial. There's a lot of cutscenes in here, so that should be should make this trial like be the episode um, if the trial is hard enough. Um, so I'm trying to talk over these cutscenes and like make some form of interesting commentary, but there really isn't much to talk about other than the future plans for the channel. Because by August we're probably going to be monetized, which is mind blowing. And if you guys don't know what that is, that means that. If you guys don't know what that is, that means that um, we will officially be making or starting my, you know, my dream, my living off of this. Um, obviously, I have a job because I have to have a job um, because I can't just, you know, mess with this. Uh, I don't have a rock type. And that actually is hurting me right now because that's the second straight bug flying type. Um, so with that being all kind of in the mix of things, like, it's crazy to, because all I need for it, right, is 300 watch hours. And that's hard to get. That's hard to obtain. But, um, with Hoot Hoot Video doing what it's doing, that's, oh, I have a quick law on you. Okay. I was like, oh gosh, what did I have on you? Um, with Hoot Hoot Video, what it's doing, it's accumulating 40 hours a day. So... 40 hours, if I need 300 hours at 40 hours a day, that's 280 in seven days. Like, 
It's all Land Park to Hoo Hoo video. Um, and Hoo Hoo video is getting me a lot of subscribers right now. So Hoo Hoo video is going to cap off everything for monetization, which is a weird thing to kind of put into perspective. Um, and I get that, understandably so. Um, that's why I'm trying to make it kind of easier to put in perspective, but I can't really, because the, the reason why I can't put it into perspective is because I don't understand it myself. Like, that is really the biggest reason I can't put it into perspective or easier, uh, an easier lens, because I don't understand why it's happening, but I need to make sure that I figure it out as soon as possible, because if I can get a video, if I'm, if I'm racking up if I'm figuring out how to live what I want to live, then why would I not do it? Because, and the reason why I say that, right, is the way that what's happening right now is is the way I wanted to grow my channel, right? I guess, like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. It's making it difficult. Um, what is happening right now on my channel is the way that I... Not the way I expected to grow. Not the way that I wanted to, like, become bigger. Um, but it has good morals. There's good more. It's good moral behind how I'm growing, right? I'm not faking anybody out. Like, because the best part is the video that's getting big and that's growing right now shows you exactly what it is. It shows you exactly what the video is. It's right there. The title doesn't, like, click. There is absolutely no clickbait in that video. And that is why I'm so happy that that's the video that's growing my channel. Because I hate clickbait. Obviously, I don't use it. There's a reason why I don't use it. Like, whatever's in the thumbnail was in the video at some point. And it's not like, oh, guys, we're going to do this. And this is how we're going to do things. I cannot stand clickbait. It makes me mad when I see it. Um, so the fact that I can grow in a more conventional manner, it's be it's beautiful, to say the least. It is beautiful to be growing in that kind of a manner because I don't clickbait. And so seeing that somebody who doesn't clickbait actually grow on the platform especially in views like kind of weird kind of it's definitely a weird thing i never would have expected it to happen to me of all people but it did i you know seven years of work and uh we might finally do that we might finally get to a point where we're boom we can actually like continue to move and grow the channel and make the channel better every single day um but we are in a a weird limbo spot and I'll take it limbo is a lot better like being in limbo means that like you know you could go somewhere but I don't have expectations right so that's why I'm in limbo because um, I don't have any expectations but I know I could go somewhere and something could happen which is why like I said why we're gonna have some pogo content jumping on the channel here quite soon um, and I'm excited for it I hope y'all are too um, it's gonna be a different kind of content. I'm definitely gonna have to learn along the way. Um, but I know y'all will support and be here. And hopefully I can make content that makes you happy. And it's a good breaker too. Like Pogo can be a good breaker of like, oh, we got a Pogo video today. Let's we can we can handle it. As our totem is at Wow, what happened to our totems? Like they were fully evolved and now they're not. I mean it didn't matter if this one was fully evolved or not, because I still would have O-Code. Anyway. Level 36. Holy cow. Um, I still would have O-Code this anyway. Or not. Oh. Okay, that did nothing. Um, and a Vanillish would have still done nothing. But yeah, I still would have O-Coded anyway. It doesn't really matter that it's not fully evolved. I don't know what's going on with the randomizer. Things are supposed to be forced fully evolved. And they're just... They were in the first half of the game. And now they're not. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But, Vanillish gets taken down very easily. Which means that we actually get to get our a couple a couple encounters in this episode. Whoop, whoop. Because um, we get Route 12 and Blush Mountain. So, that'll be nice. I mean, getting racking up two encounters and 
Yeah, I mean, we're definitely gonna have to do a grinding mon or a grinding session. I don't do grinding montages; they're really just pointless to me. Uh, but we're definitely gonna have to grind because they're kind of getting high up there in the levels, and I don't. Oh, we can't because we have to take on Guzma. Oh, um, I forgot about Guzma entirely. So we get one encounter, and then the episode ends, and then next episode is Guzma and the two encounters. But yeah, I definitely need to grind. Because this level curve is hitting hard now. And I don't like the fact that it's hitting hard. Because if the totem was level 36... Ugh, okay. We have, I want to get to level, like, 39 across the board if I can. Um, I think that's a good level, right? 39 sounds comfortable. Like, it's not over-leveled, but it's not, like... Because that could have been much worse than it was at level 36. Um... But yeah, like, with that oh, Festival Plaza, I remember cutting this out for you. <laughs> I was like, nope, we're going to end the episode here because Festival Plaza is dumb. And here's another section where we have to actually, but because it's not the end of the video. And it's just a quick, like, oh, you can do this now. You're far enough in the game in which this is okay. It's like, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, we have to give the professor back his mask. Cause he's a lazy son of a gun. Failed to get, uh, failed, failed to wear his mask. Kikui. Um, out here failing to wear his mask. Like, oof. You're out in public all day. You need to wear that. Um. But. Yeah, we're gonna take on and get our encounter in which we have not yet gotten because we ended the episode going into this Pokemon Center. So I guess we'll, we'll, uh, we'll kind of see. I don't know. Like, it could be good. It could be just meh. I'm kind of hoping now that we have kind of got back. Uh, uh, Gen 6 is kind of what I'm hoping for. A Gen 6 Mon. Of course, Fitta cannot die. We do not want Fitta to die. Because Fitta is an issue. But yeah, this is how I can tell I haven't gotten the encounter yet. Is because the ball or the TM still here. Oh, 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 that's the TM for Earthquake. I am so glad I went over here and remembered my encounter. Wow, Earthquake as a TM. And we're going to get a Kingdra. We'll take that's Gen 2. It's okay, though, that it's Gen 2. I will take a Kingdra. Kingdra ain't bad. Um, Definitely dealable or handleable. I have liquidation, so that's not going to do anything because it's quad resisted. Uh, should do like 20%. Not even. That was a crit. Okay. And you're withdrawing, which is perfectly fine with me. Because if you withdraw, then your defense is raised. And I can just brick break. Um, which I think I can actually hit you with a brick break. Now that you're at plus one. Wow. Okay, yeah, we're good. Sparkling Aria. Good water stab. Now just let's hope for some good dragon stab. And I'll be happy. If I see Dragon Pulse, and that's a that's definitely a good mon, a mon that we want to keep on the squad. Uh, well, we can't keep it on the squad, but um, that's like a that's a solid Generation Two mon. We got Sandy right now, but Water Dragon type would be phenomenal for this team. We don't have that. We have a Water. We have a Dragon type. But we don't have a Water type. So if we can if we can end up seeing that, um. If we can end up getting that, that'd be phenomenal. As liquidation should still do nothing. Uh, love having a quad. Wow, look at how that is so much of nothing. Muddy water. So it looks like you only have a water stab. Which, to be honest, is a little bit on the unfortunate side. But there's really nothing that I can do about that. So... Water stab is water stab, so. Especially because it's kind of hard to come by good water stab, so. Let's get Drake in front, and. Yeah, Drake can just kind of sit here and tank hits. Oh, oh, well. Wow. Wow.
it predicted the swap. I hate when that happens. I really do. It makes me mad when that happens. But okay, I guess we go into Feta. Um, but we called this thing. So wow, this is a move set. Dragon Pulse, Sparkling Aria, Muddy Water, and Withdraw. Like. Yeah, this is definitely the backup mod for the Gen 2. Like, I, you can't even say otherwise. Like, if you were to say otherwise, I would know that you're just playing with me. Because, like, there's absolutely no way this ain't the backup. That's a critical capture. Let's go! <laughs> well, what a way to cap off today's episode of Gen Log. I hope you guys had a phenomenal day. We're gonna name this thing Cassandra. I think we've I don't think we've named it Amon Cassandra yet. But Cassandra was in the comment section of the live stream and said I she said she felt so bad for not attending the live stream. And I wanna let you know that that is not a requirement, obviously. Um and we appreciate the fact that you even wanted to attend the live stream. So Cassandra Cass and Cassandra, welcome to the team. I don't know if I've named Pokemon after you yet, but there you are. Um, and if I named you after two Pokemon, I named you after two Pokemon. Infiltrator is an ability. Wow. So uh, substitutes don't even matter. Wow. This Mon is actually busted. We take that. We take busted for sure. Um, and like I said, with that being said, thank you all so very much for watching. Make sure, if you are new, to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on... This is Friday's episode. So we'll see you on Mon Sunday. Um, or no, 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 no. Sunday's Pogo. So we'll see you on Monday. Um, wow, okay. So we won't see you guys for a long time. So yeah, we'll see you guys on Monday with the next episode. Um, so yeah, because right now it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. Is the upload schedule for this series. So... Yeah, that's crazy. Um, have a fantastic rest of your night. Peace.